Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jaden here, back with another video, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to tail whip on a scooter. If you already didn't know, the tail whip is the most basic trick on a scooter. It looks a lot harder than it is, but if you focus and stay confident, I know you guys can learn it. Keep in mind, this is my preference on how to teach. There's a lot of different ways, but this is just how I learned. And I ride goofy, by the way, but it's the same however you ride. First, you're gonna need to know how to bunny hop. You can either bunny hop like this, or you can bunny hop like this. Either way works. Now that you've got that mastered, you're gonna practice doing this. So how to do that is spread your legs apart. Don't do it too far apart from your body just cause then you'll get in the habit when you learn it to do the tail out far, but you wanna keep it under you. So kinda practice keeping it kinda nearby you like this, and basically just twist your arms like this motion and then after you get good you can start going fast. You may consider wanting to wear some long socks just in case because you'll probably bang your ankles a lot but you don't need to. So now that you've done the bar motion practice doing this with the bar motion and the flick. So the flick just put your one foot on and then flick like that and then start getting really fast at it. Now that you've done that, you're gonna combine all those steps together and it should look something like this. And try to land with one foot, but at first you'll probably land something like that. But yeah, try to keep it under you and flick it and spin your bars fast. And mainly, it's not so much of the tips, but it's mainly just practice. Now that you've done that, you're gonna to wanna to really try to keep it under you, spin it fast, and this helped me so much. I cannot stress enough about it. Keep your feet together. Cause I made a habit that I just landed like this every time. And technically you can land it if you keep your feet together. You just gotta really keep those feet together. Spin that deck nice and good, flick it, get a nice height bunny hop and you should be able to do it. You won't learn this quick. I'm just teaching it quick cause I know how to do it. But the main key is just practice. Now combine the bunny hop Spin those bars and with the flick and the feet together. Some bad habits I've went through when I was learning the tail whip. One of them is landing with one foot every time. That one was just a stickler for me because I just did that over a hundred times felt like. Another one is not keeping the scooter under you. Those are probably the main two bad habits I've went through when I was learning the tail whip. Those, in probably my opinion, are the two main habits to avoid. So remember, again and again, bunny hop, either like this or like this. You don't really need much height for a bunny hop, actually. And then spin those bars. Well, I guess you should probably flick it first. Flick it, spin those bars like this, keep it under you, keep your feet together, land, and roll away. So I'm not gonna be annoying with this, but just one more time, I cannot stress enough. Practice is key. The tips are great, but just practice is key. Don't give up, and I know you guys can do it. I'd recommend maybe learning off a small curb, something like that, that's how I learned. So yeah, just keep practicing, and I know you guys can do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe.